Bryant, uh, why don't you give us a few more details when we talk about um, when we talk about Jericho? What are some of the things that uh, some of the, the facts that are out there that support the fact that it indeed is a historical site and it does comport with what the Bible says? Yeah, we've talked about the dating of the destruction level that was found there, uh, but it goes beyond that. A lot of evidence has been dug up there that. Uh, shows the Bible account is very uh, accurate in detail about the event. Everybody's heard about the walls that fell down. Well, actually, we have evidence for those uh, fallen city walls. Uh, we have evidence even as to the time of year. Uh, from what we have in the Bible, we know that it took place in the spring of the year. And uh, we uh, have uh, in the ruins of Jericho, uh, many, many jars full of grain showing that it was indeed harvest time, which is in the spring of the year there in the southern Jordan Valley. Uh, the jars were full, which shows there was a very short siege of the city before it fell. Uh, also, the full jars indicate that the Israelites did not plunder the city uh, because they were commanded by God not to plunder uh, Jericho was to be offered up as a sacrifice uh, to God, the first fruits uh, of the promised land. Uh, we even have evidence that uh, the city burned, as we read in the Bible, uh, after they had uh, attacked the city. Mm -hmm. We're told they set it on fire, one of three places that the Israelites burned uh, in the uh, course of the conquest. And we have the evidence for that fiery uh, destruction. Mm -hmm. We even have uh, evidence for earthquake activity. Some people wonder how the walls fell, and uh, the evidence would suggest that God used an earthquake at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we find that in the city there are fallen walls from the buildings there, mm -hmm. and that the walls fell before the city was set on fire. Small detail in the Bible. Mm -hmm. We also have evidence that at one point on the north side of the city, the city wall did not fall, mm -hmm. which is a little strange mm -hmm. until you read the account of the spies going into Jericho and they were uh, hidden by Rahab in her house, which was built against the city wall. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, spies uh, made this agreement uh, with Rahab that if she would hide them and save them, that when they attacked the city, that they, they would uh, rescue her and her family. And they instructed her to put this red uh, rope out the window, which was in the city wall, mm -hmm. so they could see it from outside. And so uh, her house was spared. Her family and her household were in the house when the walls fell, but yet at that particular place, mm -hmm. archaeologists have found the wall intact, <coughs> the buildings against the wall intact. And a so, house in the wall. Yes. 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 So yeah. uh, every detail mm -hmm. is borne out in the archaeological record. And it, uh, viewers who are interested in more information can go to our website and we have articles on all of this, pictures and diagrams and so on, uh, mm -hmm. just spelling out all of this evidence. Yeah, the awesome thing is that um, if you come to the Bible and you read the account, the evidence is there. The evidence, what we read, we find in the actual excavation there, the actual site of Jericho. Mm -hmm. 